Thank you, Chair. Rep. Fine, I know your intention is to protect children, but I don't think that you also, I don't think that you understand that you're also protecting the drag industry because there's a lot of activists that have taken things too far these days. And what they're doing is they're making it bad for the really quality performers that are out there. And a lot of people here mentioned today, um, you know, about all the good shows. And I represent Miami Beach. We have some of the best drag theater in the country. But my concern is when, when people try to politicize things and what they want to do to get attention these days is it's about the cheap thrills. So the vulgarities, the indecent exposures, that's really what this is meant to address. This is not meant to target any artistic expression. It's just about keeping things appropriate at age levels. Um, and we should, as a civilized society, have these very basic expectations. Um, I do want to give a shout out to some of the performers that I support. Miss James St. James, if you're listening anywhere. Miss Elaine Lancaster. Uh, Miss Kitty Meow, and this last week we had a beauty pageant for uh, Miami Beach Pride, and Fantasia Royal Gaga swept, swept. With, she won every category um, because she was the most tasteful, appropriate performer. Um, and uh, and I really appreciate, I really appreciate the art industry. There was a time, you know, the '90s and the 2000s. Well, I don't know if, if all of you you know remember, but there was, you know, the party didn't start until a drag queen entered the room. I mean, it was celebrities, socialites, you know, people from all walks of life. And it's an exciting time to be. And, and you know, the, the, there's a lot of beauty in the world in every, in every aspect of life. And I don't think that it's, it's fair that because of politics that certain people are taking things too far and, and ruining it for the rest of us, you know? And a lot of this is, and, and speaking to the people, a lot of this is misinformation. This is not about targeting anybody. I mean, I, I celebrate the LGBTQ community. I, I might not support advocacy groups like Equality Florida who are paid to be at Representative, let's keep it to the contents yeah. of the bill. But I'll be there on Sunday celebrating diversity and inclusion and all the beauty and wonders of the world. And I think there's a way and a manner that things should be done correctly and appropriately, especially when children are involved. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. I'll, go, I'll, I'll just give you some examples so you can all research. Um, there's a place in, in Miami Beach called The Palace. Let, let's keep it to the contents of yeah, the bill. Yeah, they, they do. They, they put on a good show. They do what's right, and they don't, they don't, they're not about the cheap thrills. But then there's the adult entertainment industry, like Twist. You have to, have, you have to be of a certain age um, to enter this adult entertainment venue, and they, do, and, you know, they put on a great show as well. So it's just about being appropriate. And um, anyway, I thank you for protecting the drag industry. I think it's a great uh, business, and, uh, and it's kind of slowly disappearing, and I'd like to see more of it done the right way.